Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Uncle Fester from the Adams Family. This is the last one in my set and these are going to be ready just for Halloween here. For this pattern you're going to need skin tone bands, beads or bands for the eyes. I'm using white beads with a black sharpie marker to draw it on, on the pupil. And for the outfit you can use black or brown, which is what I'm going to do in this video, so you'll see them both in the thumbnail. And you also have the option of using gray if you'd like. I will be making one arm with you and getting you to pause for the other, and the rest we will do all together. So let's start with our hook, and we're going to make our arm. You'll need two skin tone bands, and you're going to wrap them together three times around your hook. And this will go on to seven sets of double brown bands or outfit color bands, whichever color you're going with. So place your outfit bands at, I'm just going to say brown because that's what I'm using here. Your brown bands on the end of the hook, slide your wrapped bands over and replace the other end. And we're going to take another two, put them on the end, bring your bands off the hook and onto those two. Pull the other end on, and we'll repeat that five more times. Take two, put them on the end, pull it over, and again, this will be our fourth set, fifth set, set number six, and seven. And I'll ask you to take a minute and make another arm here. When you're ready, you can come back with your loom in the offset configuration, middle row raised above the other two. And before you put anything on, let me tell you, right now we have two, three, four, five, six, seven sets on our, on our outfit length. If you feel this isn't long enough for you, what you can do is start your outfit at the top of the loom with double bands coming down diagonally from the center and sets coming down towards the end as many as you want and I'll, I'll walk you through how to make the rest of the outfit but what you can do then is loop it up take it off the loom make the head and then attach it this is just this just keeps everything together it's going to be a little bit cleaner a little bit easier i think so for this exact pattern if you're okay with this length what you're going to do is start with the head double bands for everything you see here two bands for each set come from the top center to the top right from the top center to the top left this is with skin tone come down three times on either side and four times in the center and then you'll be taking double bands and coming from your fourth right to your fifth center and from your fourth left to your fifth center and then we'll start on the outfit here by coming down the fifth center to the fifth on the right with double brown and from the fifth center to the fifth left with double brown and we're going to fill the rest of the loom with the exception of the last set on either side. So I'm going to hold this for a second and you can pause it and put all of this on. And then we can add our arms on the fifth peg down on either side. Slide the bands off of your hook. and directly on. You can put your finger through there and, and transfer them that way if it's easier. Let's put some folding bands. We're going to use two bands right at the bottom from that second peg from the bottom to the second peg and raise it above the center. And the rest of our outfit will be covered with single triangle bands. So just stretch it across and pull it up over this, the corresponding center peg. For our side chains, we're going to be taking a single brown, wrapping it twice, 
and pulling it onto six sets of double brown bands. And this is going to give him a little bit of that bulk and that width he's famous for. This is two sets of double, three sets. We're doing just what we did with the arm here. Four, five, and six. I'll show you where to put it and then we'll make the other one together. The bands which are on your hook are going to go on your sixth peg down just under the arm. And then you're going to get the three bottommost bands and put those on the second to last peg on the bottom. And I find it easier. It's a little, it looks a little tricky, but I find it easier to stretch it across first rather than try and pull the chains when it's all loose. Now we are going to get our hook in between our pieces and take one single band out of each set and pull it around the pegs in between here. Try and get one off of the bottom if you can. And just look a little bit cleaner and this keeps the kind of keeps the pieces together. And two more. One and two, and we're gonna start on the chain for the other side. Once again, that's a single wrap twice, pulled onto six sets of double bands. One, two, three, oops, four, five, and six. Um, and I'm sorry, I really should mention if you are making the outfit longer, you've, if you started it higher up on the loom, you'll need to an, add an extra set here for each added piece. I'll try and remember to make a, a notation of that for you afterwards. This also is coming from, oh, that's why from the piece right under the arm. This one's one too high actually. And it's going to the second last peg from the bottom. I thought that added up a little funny there. Oh well, nothing, nothing irreparable. Okay, here we are. And you're gonna pull out a band from each chain. If you did put that band on the top one there and you can't get it off, it's, it's really okay. It's just going to make it thicker higher up. But try and keep your sides even. So if you are going to leave it on the arm peg, then put this one on the arm peg as well. And we can put our face together. We're going to put some doubled over bands so that our face isn't too, too loose. So take a single, stretch it out, twist it around onto itself. And this will go from our fourth peg to our fourth peg and over the fourth peg. Repeat that from the third to the third and over the center third. And we'll do that one more time. If you are using bands, you can take your bands. I'll just demonstrate really, really, really quickly. You can take your bands, wrap them three to four times onto your hook, and pull it, pull both of them onto a single skin tone band. And this is exactly what you'll do if you have beads with a larger hole. I'll tell you where to put it in just a second. If you are using beads with a smaller hole as I am, you can take a twist tie or a thin wire or a piece of dental floss, works really, really well. And you'll thread it through both of your small beads. And the rounder the beads you have for this, the better, because he has sort of bulgy eyes. Let's try a different one here.
And I thought I was so prepared. Okay, put it through both. Put it through your skin tone band. Bring your skin tone band back and through both beads from the opposite direction. And once you have it through, you can pull and slide them right onto your band. And your eyes will go from the second peg down to the second peg, down on the opposite side. Split them up and pull one piece over the peg below. That's kind of optional if you want to just keep it where it is you can. I find this is going to center it a little more on the face. His eyes are more towards the center. Okay, I think that is almost everything. We're ready to loop up. So come down to the bottom and we're going to loop straight up the center until we reach that fifth peg down where our skin tone ended. So grab your bottom two brown bands, bring them up and over that second peg from the bottom. Find your next two, bring them up around over and continue going up just like that. There shouldn't be much in your way here. Just be careful that you're getting two bands each time. And stop. Pick a side and we're going to be looking for this bottom set, this bottom row of bands. So push back the others and grab the bottom two, bring them up and over. Come back under, grab your bottom two, up and over. If you find they're getting mixed in, you can take your hand or your hook and pull them to the side, give it a tug to stretch it out and get a better view. I'm just turning this to the side so I can see it a little more clearly. You'll notice as I'm going, I'm always pushing back my triangle band so that I don't lose the piece that's holding it together here. And when you get to this top part, find these two diagonal bands from underneath. Again, you might want to give them a little pull out and hold it with your finger until you're ready to loop it up. Push back the rest and get those, bring them to the center. And let's come up the other side. Once more, looking for the bottom set of bands. I'm going to turn this around to see better for a minute. If you're looking at it from the top, there should only be the one band to push back before you grab those, because our extensions are all, all pushed to the side already. Push back your triangle bands, come up and get your last two diagonals. And then we're at the hardest part of it all, after which it should be cake because now we have to get under our brown and if you have made the outfit separately this is the part you'll be adding on it's all these bands and we have to find our top two skin tone bands from underneath and these are coming from the right side so sneak your hook in with the open part facing inwards I'm pulling these bands out to the side so I can see them better and I'm going to grab them with my hook very carefully and pull them around. This can be very hard, so take your time. And then we need to find these two bands which are coming from the left. I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm pulling these out to the side to see. And I will sneak my hook in through the brown and take just these two skin tone bands. And this might take you a couple of tries. Don't be afraid to put it back and try it again if you grab one of the wrong ones or if something doesn't look right. It's better to do it slowly and properly than to rush through and have to redo. See, I see here I'm getting more than the two that I want. So I'm just going to pull these ones to the side again. Push back all the brown. As I said, this is the hard part, at least for myself. I got one. And here's the other one. 
And then we're going to get the last two which are coming up the center. Push back your brown and grab those bottom two. And we're going to go straight up to the top now. And the rest of our looming should be pretty easy. So take the next two, loop them up. Push back the band that has that's holding the eyes here. Get your bottom two, loop them up. And I'm actually going to do this middle part first. Don't worry if you've done it already. Um, I just like the way it looks with that coming last. We're going to go up the side, find the bottom bands. And there are two in each set. Push back the others. And get your bottom two, loop them up and over. Push back your doubled over holding band, get the bottom two up and over, up and over, and up diagonally to the center. Come back to your other side and get your bottom two up and over, push back your holding bands up and over, repeat, and to the center, and don't forget to come back up, this, up the middle one more time with that last set. We're going to take a holding band. We have one more step after we take this off, so don't, don't hurry away. Put your hook through the pegs on the top, the bands on the top peg, with your hook facing it away from you. You're going to put a single skin tone band on the end and pull it up through. Put your other end on, and we'll pull one side over the other to make a slip knot here. Take off some tension and this can come off of your loom. And the face will probably be the tightest part here because we had some doubled over bands. Be a little bit extra careful. And we also have our side extension pieces. Watch, you'll want to watch out for them too. Oh, I just don't have the patience for this line of, this line of craft. And give everything a little bit of an adjustment. You can pull the arms down, pop your eyes out and through. You'll want to hide your securing band in the back. You can pull this under a couple of bands if you want and put it on a C-clip. And as you know, I like to slip my C-clip under another band to make it a bit more secure. We'll, we will draw on our eyes and then we're gonna add the little collar piece, which I think adds a lot to it. So with your black marker, if you have used beads, you can now draw on a couple of little circles right in the middle. They can be very little or a little big. Try and get them as evenly as you can. And now our collar, which was, as I said, our last piece, get the color you're using for your shirt. And we're going to take a single, wrap it once or twice, and pull it onto six pairs of double bands again, or six sets of double bands, just as we did with our arms and our side extensions. Just two, three, four, this gives it a good thickness, five, and six. You can continue to make this in doubles if you want the, it to be thick all the way around. I'm going to switch to singles now though because I'm more interested in just getting it to fit at this point. So we're going to put a single band through that last set we did. Just slipping off. And another single. And now it should be long enough to stretch around the back of the neck. Put your hook through the end where you started and we can take another single, pull it through all these pieces like so, trying to get you a good view there. And put one end over the other, make another slip knot and this can go onto your C-clip as well. Or you can, here, mine's a little bit loose here, I'm just going to tuck it in a little further down and throw it on the C-clip. All 
never put any C-clip in them. Feeling a little bit clumsy today. Oh well. Here we go. And there is your Uncle Fester. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out some of my other Adams Family designs.